it's, it's really exciting to get back there on the field and, and do what I do. How do you feel? Like, what percentage do you think you are right now? Are you 100%? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm on the field, so you know, I'm 100%. What stands out to you when you look at Cleveland on film? You know, uh, you know, it's a good football team, uh, but uh, you got to come and just dominate, dominate them each and every play. You know, that's what we got to do uh, to bounce back from, you know, last last weekend. You told me last year that one of the things you like to do when you watch film is look at yourself and what you think you need to get better at. So what are you working on? Man, really just technique and just training my eyes to look at the right thing so I can react quicker. Did you uh, remember watching Deshaun Watson at all, like in Clemson or even early in his NFL career before you got in the league? Yeah, for sure. You know, I, you know, I watched Clemson. They was always a top school when he when he played, and you know, I I always used to think I was a skilled player. So you know, I I like this game. You feel like uh, you know, he, he can still play at a high level, even if he hasn't been as productive as he was, you know, back in Houston. Yeah, I, I feel like he can still play at a high level. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it just looks like bring a lot of energy in the locker room today at practice. Um, you know, in some of the before stretches, you're almost like doing the Max Crosby thing, like jumping up high for uh, for high knees and everything. Uh, you're trying to do that with Max in mind, try to fill that role a little bit in practice. Man, you know, he he does this at the highest level, so you know. When, when he ain't there on the field, you know, somebody else got to bring the energy. You know, I try to, you know, I try to bring the energy uh, for myself and for others to feed off of. When you talk about training your eyes, but we just talked to Patrick Graham today. He, he went off on a, a whole tangent about how important that is to him. How, how much of that comes from him? Man, it comes from him and, you know, Rob Zimmer. Everybody, really, you know, you can't you can't play football by looking in the backfield trying to chase plays, you know, because you'll get embarrassed. So you got to look at your key first and see what, see what read you get for your key and then react off of that. Is that what he means when he talks about vision leads to precision? Yeah, I mean, it also comes from, you know, your hands. If your hands ain't in the right spot you, and the offensive lineman gets you, you're done. So you got to look at the, the offensive lineman and get your hands and get extensions to be able to work off of it. How far do you feel like you've come with those little subtleties just in the year and a half or two years since you've been in the NFL? Man, I feel like I came a long ways. You know, usually it was rushing chest to chest. You know, now I'm trying to rush from the uh, extension and be able to convert off of is that one of the things, you're so gifted physically. God's just giving you gifts some of us will just never have. Yeah. So in college, you were able to dominate, but in the NFL, everybody's gifted. Is that where maybe technique becomes even Yeah, I mean, big? technique is the biggest part of it. I feel like other NFL, that's what's different in college. You know, you can win just because, you know, you got an advantage of some other players. But in the NFL, everybody's good. So, you know, that's what that's what everything you do is, is about technique so that you can win the matchups. Yeah. How, much of a, how much pressure do you put on yourself to really perform at a high level, now, especially with Max kind of being down a little bit? How much pressure do you think that puts on yourself? Or is it no pressure at all? Man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say it's pressure. It's just do your job. Because when I feel when people say put the pressure on me, you know they try to they try to do the un, unordinated and try to be somebody else. But I feel like you know once you go out there and train all week to perform at the highest level, you go on the field and you just do your job, and you know the plays will come. Like when I talked to Max uh, against Baltimore. You know, the some things I got from him was like, you know, I'm always like, Max, go get, you know, go get some. He just play the next play, play the next play. So, you know, I kind of uh, take that mindset into, you know, these games now. Just work, focus on the next play and not the play after that or the play that you just did. Just, just in general for yourself, is confidence like riding higher than ever? Man, yeah, you know, you gotta. I feel like to be, be the player I want to be, you gotta have, you gotta have confidence. And confidence comes from preparation and training. So, you know, I feel like I go on the field and, you know, I, I go out there and work. So, you know, of course my confidence is going to continue to grow. How, how do you think this defense is going to respond to something after Carolina? Man, you know, uh, just like anybody, you know, you get knocked down, we men, we got to get back up and, and come back and fight, you know, because, you know, we see our defense as being one of the best defense in the NFL. So you can't continue to stay on the ground. You got to get back up and, and respond. Thanks, yeah. How much of 